Welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft gold making video. Today we are going to be talking about why you should have an alt army in Dragonflight. Now I've talked about this a couple of different times, but the reason I want to get back to you guys today is because a lot of people have been asking what I'm doing very recently uh <laughs> exactly what i'm doing with gold making at least currently and uh what i've been up to and one of those things is an alt army okay and one of the main things that you can do on an alt uh currently in dragonflight is alchemy for transmutes and tailoring you can do uh the bolts right uh, asher weave and chrono cloth now those two by themselves right you have dracophis here uh, when you set this up, obviously, depending on how many um, knowledge points you want to put into an ult, depending on how many you have, whether you have 5, 10, 15, 20, or more, the amount of effort that you can put into an individual character obviously varies. But I would definitely recommend that you get 5 points into Alchemical Theory and then 20 into Transmutation because this puts your Dracophist at 10 uh, max charges and then every 16 hours it refreshes which means it takes like 6.6 .6 days to go up to max, char max charges which is you know realistically seven days which makes it really really easy to handle and then getting 25 knowledge points is really easy and all you have to do to get these trachophis as well is getting your alchemy so it's only skill 25 and then you need 25 bartering bricks from the new zone sarlacc caverns and all you have to do in Sarlacc Caverns is getting to Renown 3 with the Loam. And then you can continue to do the, uh, the, the bartering brick quests that are available. I did make a video explaining how to do that and what you need to kind of focus on to be able to do it. So if you guys are interested on that, I uh, will link that down in the description below, possibly in the comments. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can always ask in the comments below as well. Now, before we get fully into the video, I do want to say thank you to all the Patreons over on Patreon. Now, if you are interested in supporting me, there is TSM groups, there is sniping lists, which is shopping list for a uh, point blank sniper. And then there's also a bunch of alt army related content on there. Now, if you're interested in any of that or any of that sounds interesting, or you just want to support me make sure you hop on over on the Patreon. It's linked down in the description below and it's very much appreciated. That's just what I want to say. Now, as the other thing, it is tailoring. Now, tailoring is a little bit different. I don't have it set up on this uh, particular character. Uh, I will go over and show you guys what it entails. Now, there's a bunch of different ways to go about tailoring, especially with Asher Weave and Chrono Cloth. Uh, those are two very different moving materials, and I would say it is worth it to go for both of them if you have the capability of crafting bags, Chrono Cloth Reagent Bags, and Asher Weave uh, Expedition Packs. If you can craft both of those, in Dragonflight, I would say both of them are worth to go for. Now, if the only thing that you're trying to do is make the most possible profit from just crafting the bolts and then straight up selling them, the the I'd say the most profit that you're probably going to get most of the time is going to be Asher Weave. It's the one that continuously keeps uh, more profit because of its material cost being Awakened Frost instead of awakened air and obviously the awakened order and uh, vibrant wild cloth but i think going for both of these is a very good idea and being able to do that all you have to do is get to 30 in draconic needlework and then you unlock the capability of crafting both of them and you get 10 charges on both of them which is very reasonable and they charge up at the same time and you can craft both of them they do not share a cooldown, which is very interesting. But obviously, if you only want to go for Asher Weave or you only going to want to go for tailor, for Chrono Cloth tailoring or whatever it is, then that is obviously an option too. Now, that's basically the gist of it. All you have to do is wait for these crafts to fully max out like they are in this account. And then you craft them and you sell them for a profit. Because of the fact that these are all uh, cooldowns, you know, whether... Obviously, it depends on how many knowledge points you have into it, but whether it's a recharge of 8, 16, 24 hours, 
it is a very limited uh, material because you have to wait for for cooldowns crafting cooldowns right it's not something that you can just infinitely craft now there are a lot of people with very big alt armies out there that are crafting very big portions of this but this is still very profitable and obviously every time you craft you can just open up the auction house and see whether or not something is profitable. If we're looking at something right now, like Jerkofis, we're looking at a crafting price of around 7,000. They currently sell for 7,659. After the auction house cut, it's only a couple hundred gold profit. But this is not counting uh, your multi-craft and your resourcefulness procs, right? And that's where that comes into play as well. You can set up better uh, profession tools and profession equipment you can also get more knowledge points will which will increase the overall profit that you can actually expect to see from some of these things and that is only one part of it the other reason why it's really really good to have an alt army in dragonflight is because with 10.1 with the dracophis that we got we we now know that these characters need to be level 70 unlike the tailoring bolts you can do this at level 60 or level 61 Obviously, I say 61 because you usually level up to 61 by leveling tailoring. But obviously, if you don't do that, then, you know, level 60, you can still get to do this, which is very, very good. But with Dracophis, which is a 10.1 thing, in the new zone, you need to be level 70 to be able to do any of this, right? Which means that the content that is needed to be completed requires you to be 70. And we know now with 10.1 being like that, 10.2, which possibly later this year, very early next year, we don't have a release date, depending on when you watch this video, that is going to be something that probably also is going to require level 70. So even if you're not interested in what we currently have, it would be very smart working on leveling all of your characters up so they're ready to go for a potential or a potentially good thing that would happen in 10.2. And also, if you like alt armies for any other project, it's always great getting them to max level, especially when there's something like the experience event, which is currently going on at the time of recording this video. So, you know, obviously getting one more done is one less character that you would have to do towards the end of an expansion, especially if we see something that's great for the next expansion. So it's also about preparing for the future and not only doing what's current. But obviously that depends on you and your goals and what you're interested in. But that's basically what I've been focusing on recently, setting up tailoring, setting up alchemy on a bunch of my alts and just leveling more. And then we'll be prepared for a, a bunch of other stuff in the future for a dragonfly in particular. Now there's a lot of other things that you can actually do for an alt army still in old expansions. And if you're interested in any of that, that is something that I have actually do have available over on Patreon, but you can always ask questions down in the comments here as well. But if you want a very long document with all of that information, I have that available on Patreon. But either way, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Uh, drop your comments of what you thought of it down in, uh, you know, down in the comment section below. If you have any questions, same place. But either way, I appreciate you for watching the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya!